It's always a great day when you're lifting your truck a little bit more, right? Why are you closed? I told you he was shitting on him. Keep on the grind. Beautiful morning, Friday morning. I got a huge nail in one of my tires the other day. I pulled it out at the gas station by my house. Some of y'all forget that I live an hour from work, so if it was actually leaking, I would have been fucked. <laughs> um, I think the, the hole, it was, I don't think, it didn't go all the way through is, is what I'm saying, but I don't even know where the hole went. And I did curve one of my wheels the other day, just a little bit. This little nick's been there, but I got a nice little one down there now, but nothing a little sharp you can't fix, right? <laughs> We got Caden up here today. Shout out to my guy Caden. He's always showing love on Instagram and on YouTube. So make sure you guys go show some love to him. Honestly, my Jake's gonna kill Jake's gonna say something to me again about this, but my favorite, would you consider this OBS? What would you consider this forward OBS. body style? It's OBS. So. so it is OBS, it's 98. My it's favorite after the square body and before they changed the body completely. So. Regardless of what the hell kind of body style it is, it's my favorite forward right now of this body style and i'm not just saying that because you're right here i'm being i'm being honest i, I just i love the clean I, i'm a big two-tone fan so i love the two-tone i like the chrome with it chrome headlights it just it goes well together i just i, I really like it but i think we're gonna be we're gonna be raising this thing up a little bit we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna toot it up just a little bit i'm excited i think it's gonna look good and i'll definitely show you guys when we get done actually i really like this i like the color of this this like little uh the uh, like that kind of peachish, I guess if Georgia peach, that would make sense if it was peach, right? Looks really good though. It's always a great day when you're lifting your truck a little bit more, right? You, you can never complain when something great is happening to your truck. It, uh, it def yeah, it definitely is sitting up a little bit more in the front. A little squat to it. Okay. How them angles look? Not bad. Not bad. It's definitely a little bit taller. It almost looks taller in the back, too. It's because it's on the weird angle. Is it? Yeah. It looks good, though. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm a fan of the chrome with the headlights. It just... It ties together. It's clean. I like it. Definitely a little bit taller. I think it looks good though. Hell yeah. Making me want to get one. You making me want to lift a little white truck. Give me, give me a little old truck. Not, not that yours is old or anything. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. But dang, I'm kind of jealous. I feel like it's been almost like it's probably been a couple weeks since I've filmed away from work. It almost feels kind of weird to not be at work and not film. Like I said in the last video, I've almost been turning this channel into a nine to five and only film at work. But I'm out and about, I'm in the silver truck, I'm going to Publix. I'm like really happy to be going to Publix right now in the silver truck, it makes, it makes no sense. But hey, we're out and about. I'm really working hard on making the videos a good vibe. You know what I mean? I'm all about energy right now. I'm all about making sure things are positive, growing, moving forward, going in the right direction. I don't want to bring you guys along if it's not going to be a good time. You know what I mean? I want to make videos that you guys want to watch more than once. So that's that's really what I'm focusing on. But I want to give you guys more of the life. You know what I mean? Part of this channel is daily bread, you know, day in the life of trying to get this bread. So, I'm, you know, I got to bring you guys along and not just, not just show you guys the stuff at work. I got to bring you guys along too. So I'm really, uh, weak ass beard I got going on. I might have to get rid of it, but we'll see. I don't know. It's kind of like, I'm kind of like in championship mode. I'm in playoff mode right now. You know what I mean? Keep it, keep it for the time being. It's a, it's a different, it's a different energy. So we'll see how it goes. No 
time better than the present. <clears throat> I'm just trying to go to work. I'm stuck in bumper to bumper traffic. Look, I'm not moving. Interstate's moving over there. I'm stuck in bumper to bumper traffic, just trying to get to work. That's all I want to do. Just take my happy ass to work. But hey, look, I got something for y'all today. So I have never tried any kind of coffee before in my entire life. And I'm, I'm not exaggerating at all. Never in my life have I tried coffee. And uh, Christina got me this like vanilla, small ice, original caramel glaze, two sugar, milk, no cream, some kind of caramel whole milk coffee thing. And I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I definitely taste the caramel and the milk, but I taste the coffee too. The coffee's got like a real bitter like taste to it. I've just, I, I wanted to document this moment because I've never tried Dunkin' Donuts coffee, but I've never tried Starbucks, never tried any of them. I've had hot chocolate before, obviously, but I've never tried coffee because I never like the smell of it. This ain't bad though. It's not, it's weird. Like I like it, but I don't like it. I don't know how, like I really don't know how to feel because I like the caramel but I don't like that like bitterness of the coffee. Maybe it needs, maybe, you know, try, trial and error, right? It definitely ain't bad though. I'll probably, I don't know, I kinda like it. <laughs> I kinda like it. I keep drinking it, so I, I guess I like it, right? Well, I'm, well, I'm, well, I'm putting him on the spot now. He cranked it up and it sounds really good. One of my one of my favorite things about working up here is being able to just show love to people that come through anybody that watches the channel uh, i want you guys to know that I, I appreciate it more than you guys could ever understand it, it really it just it means a lot to me it blows my mind you know i'm just a normal dude and it, it just and it never makes any sense to me but it's really cool to to know that people watch the channel so i want to show some love to my guy while he's up here you're i was talking about in the last video that i really wanted some some i was getting flamed in the comments actually yesterday because I, I called them replicas instead of reps. And um, somebody was actually telling me that I need to come to Myrtle Beach for a week so they can teach me a couple of things. And I thought I thought that was kind of funny. So he's he's got the uh, the reps and graps. Is that the right terminology here? Is that, um, hey, and uh, 04 Track commented on one of my Instagram pictures this morning. That was kind of a big moment for me. You know, I, you know, I had to kind of starstruck a little bit to be honest but my guy's got a clean ass truck if i can remember i'm gonna put his instagram on the page go show some love he watches the videos so i appreciate you you know chewy from this angle it looks like you're you're pissing in the dunk tank <laughs> kind of reminds me of the days before i started working up here coming to film on a saturday afternoon after everybody leaves because saturday afternoon 12 15 we got the tahoe parked on the platform with the silverado behind it takes me back it's a great sight to see tahoe in the cut bow tie in the cut out here doing big things baby Yes, sir. Saturday vibes are crazy. Killing the game with the hard cores. You need a little more tire, my guy. No, Alex. Just a little bit. But I like it. A little squatted F-250. It ain't bad. I like it. Guy pulled up next to me on the on the gladiators. All right, I'm for this 100% right here. 
Gladiators. That's a clean ass F-150 right here with the bullet antenna. Shitting on them for sure. I don't know how we go from Summit to Bass Pro Shop, but um, I told you he was shitting on them. I literally, I had, fil I had filmed it when you pulled out. I was like, damn, I'm, I'm fucking with this. I'm not a huge Ford guy, obviously, but I sell a lot of the Gladiators at work and I, I really like the truck. So I wanted to take the time and, and show my appreciation because he watches the videos. Obviously, it sounds really good. You guys aren't obviously can't hear it now, but uh, y'all go follow my guy on Instagram, Johnny Platty, with the clean ass F-150. Showing love to the videos. Hey, hey, I appreciate it. That's how close I am to losing my shit. Even though it's not really that close. For those of you that don't know, he was running 37s on a, he was either three or three and a half inch leveling kit on that Ford yesterday, which is pretty impressive. The Gladiators look really good. That might be the cleanest setup that I've seen. I can't decide whether the, whether the replicas and the mud graps look better or the replicas and the gladiators look better. Now, personally, I feel like I'm leaning more towards the mud grabs, but the gladiators with the full color match silver with some chrome, that was clean as hell. That was that that truck was stupid clean. Super nice guy, watches the videos. Shout out to my guy. Like that that was a stupid clean truck. Caden's truck, though, I mean, it's, it's a video of Fords. We got three really nice Fords, all different body styles. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for stopping back by the channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys. Let's get this bread. Get this bread baby. That's what I'm talking about.